For a long time, I've been feeling shit about myself. There, I said it. And it's really hard to actually tell and say this on the internet, but it's the truth. I haven't been feeling happy with and about myself. I've struggled a lot. I've been not depressed, not burned out, but just not the best version of myself. Not been in a happy place. Have been crying a lot, worried a lot. Have been neglecting myself, have been criticizing myself. I've been doubting a lot. At some point, I started to wonder if I even loved myself which is quite quite a thing if you think about it because everyone deserves love sometimes when it comes to yourself it's a bit harder because well, especially for myself i'm just really critical about myself and really perfectionistic and if things don't go the way i want it if i don't look the way i want or if i don't feel the way i want then i just feel shit about myself at some point i started working with a really cool agency with my agency when the project was done i got a book and that book actually helped me to reset my mindset and also my life. It is this book. In Dutch it's called Houden van dingen die niet perfect zijn. And the translation is Loving Things That Are Imperfect from Heyman Sunim. When I read this book, there was a, a line that said, you can only give love when you give love to yourself. And then I started to wonder, I'm always, I've always said being kind is your biggest strength. Kindness is always fashionable. But then I thought about it and I was like, am I even kind to myself and about myself? And I wasn't. And that's when I started to think about it. And you know, you have to be in a happy place to attract what you want. You have to, mm, you have to appreciate what you got to attract what you want. And that counts for a lot of things. That counts for health, apartment, for love, work, everything, basically. That's when I started to watch other YouTubers that are motivating me, that are inspiring me. I let go of toxic friendships. I started working on myself by meditating, by reading, setting goals, eating more healthy, and just thinking more positive about myself overall. And one of the YouTubers that I'm watching inspired me to do a challenge. And that challenge is becoming her. I am going to do that challenge for six weeks minimum. Now there isn't a specific amount of like rules or things that you need to do to become her. But I will tell you the things that I do and I will show you the things that I do. And I will also update you over the coming weeks to see if it actually changed something if I feel better, if I feel happier. So let's do this. Becoming her, starting the journey with me.
just wanted to quickly tell you about friendships that are toxic and saying no to others is actually saying yes to you. And for a long time, I've struggled a lot by saying no to others. I always said yes because I wanted people to like me. I wanted them to think that I'm kind and nice. Basically, I just kind of neglected myself and surrounded myself with people that actually took my energy instead of gave it to me. And at some point after reading the book that I told you about, I felt like I wanted to unfollow quite a lot of people that didn't bring me joy, that kind of sucked my energy out of me. At some point, I just started doing that. I ended some friendships that weren't giving me positive energy and vibes anymore. And at some point, I started attracting new friendships that actually did give me really good positive vibes and energy. I'm really happy that I made that choice because I'm in such a better headspace right now and it's so exhausting to have to give energy and time to people that don't give that back to you or that you constantly have to put energy in and you just don't feel good after you saw them or you got the point so this is just a little reminder and also part of becoming her to start saying no to others start saying yes to you really think about what people are making you feel good and what people actually make you feel shit and do something about it don't be afraid that people won't like you anymore i mean the people that you don't want to be friends anymore probably won't like you but you'll just have to find peace with that and know that you will attract other new more good people for you in return it is Saturday morning and I'm now in the park with Odie. He is so excited because he just saw another Dachshund puppy of four months. Odie's now almost seven months and I think he's probably his final size. We never go to the park that much because when he was a puppy, he just couldn't focus here. It was just too much. So I kind of just waited until he was a bit older so now to go to the park again and also the forest like i've been to a few but not in amsterdam actually and the beach he's never been on so i'm actually really curious to find out how he will like that and we're just gonna enjoy our walk as you see here it's not really pretty because they redid the whole grass which wasn't really necessary because it actually looked fine but uh, I guess it looks okay again and during our walk we're probably going to take some outfit pictures as well because today is a nice day and it hasn't been this week and I actually need some new contents random shots at a food stand called Edelweitz. I was invited to try out their new Edelweitz. It's actually an Austrian thing. So it's filled pasta with all kinds of fillings. So both savory and sweet. And she asked me which flavors I wanted to try. So I chose actually just a random selection that she selected for me because I was like, maybe it's fun to try out all kinds of flavors. And what's actually even funnier is that the, the food stand was Austrian. The food, I thought it was more Italian at first because it's like filled pasta, but it's Austrian, of course. But then she told me that she's Greek. And then I told her about my Greek girls' night tomorrow. So that's actually really funny because tomorrow I have the Greek girls' night with my girls and we're gonna watch Mamma Mia and we're gonna um, cook all kinds of Greek food and then it was so funny that 
exactly she was Greek. Now I did some shopping for the last bits and pieces for like, the tzatziki and the salad that I'm going to make tomorrow. Raining really hard but my tram is coming. Talk to you in a bit. I'm gonna do a little taste test. Oh, I see my hat is chopped off a bit. He's really tired, so he's probably just sleeping in the background. I put on some cozy clothing and I am gonna try the Edelbites. I'm really curious. I have one here, which is really uh, more savory. And then here, uh, this one is sweet. It's still a little bit warm. Hmm. Wow. Mm mm mm. Audio should be taken a proven. This wine is incredibly yum. She, as she told me that she is Greek, and as I told her about my Greek girls' night tomorrow, this one is really giving me the Greek vibes because it's. I think it was ricotta with mint and spinach. Okay, second one. Curious. Mmm. Potato inside. Maybe like sweet potato. I don't know if you can see it. it is. So this one was the ricotta one. And then this one is the potato one. I'm shaking because I'm so hungry. Okay, I'm gonna try the next one. These are so good. I'm gonna eat the rest of it. I don't think I'm gonna finish all the boxes because it's a lot. But um, maybe I'm gonna eat some as lunch now and then as dinner. Or maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But... Um, if you want to try, it's a pop-up in the pipe. I'm not sure until when, but I will find out and I will let you know. I can't wait to eat the rest of them and just enjoy like a movie or something. Tonight we have the Greek girls night at my place and we are all making and bringing Greek food. I already made the tzatziki which is in the fridge and I'm making a salad in about an hour because I don't really have the space in my fridge to store it there. So I will have to make it and then it will just be arranged somewhere on one of the tables. We're going to watch Mamma Mia. I'm super excited because I've never done like a themed dinner party before, but I'm really looking forward to it. Let the fun begin. I was actually planning on giving you an update about the Greek girls night yesterday evening but I was so tired and I had to clean up the whole thing <laughs> so I didn't do that anymore and it's now 5 30 p.m and I was like okay I'm gonna give you an update so here it is me and the girls we met via Bumble BFF so that's actually our background history and since we met we were friends because we just hit it off we can just tell each other what we want or what we think and we just accept each other and like you see in the video we have so much fun together and i can't wait for our next girls night which is going to be spanish 